We are so fortunate in this district to have amazing leadership team, including our amazing superintendent, Dr. Teresa Williams. Will you please join me in welcoming Superintendent Williams to the stage? Thank you, Nancy, and good evening, everyone. For you the rest of this evening, I'm going to ask one of my lovely deputy superintendents, Dr. Selinda Freeman, who will join tonight, um, and she will be my voice for the rest of the evening. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Williams. I know you will be back to your very talkative self very soon. Continuing with tonight's script. With approximately 6,700 fellow staff members, our collective teamwork has a positive impact on the lives of nearly 50,000 school children. Your professionalism and desire to do the best job for our students and their families is inspiring. To all of those who we are honoring tonight, thank you so much for your service to Plano ISD. Sharing in your success is the Plano ISD executive leadership team. I would like to recognize these colleagues and ask them to stand when announced. They are Johnny Hill, Deputy Superintendent for Business and Employee Services. Lisa Wilson, Deputy Superintendent for Teaching, Learning, and Life Readiness. Dr. Courtney Gober, Assistant Superintendent for Student, Family, and Community Services. Jed Reed, Assistant Superintendent for Employee Services. Patrick Tanner, Assistant Superintendent for Technology Services. Leslie Range Stanton, Chief Communications Officer. And Dr. Dash Weersinger, Senior Executive Director for Assessment, Research, and Program Evaluation. Ivan Cantu, Executive Director for Instructional Technology. Lori Taylor, Chief Academic Officer. Matt Frey, Executive Director for Instructional Technology. And our Executive Directors for School Leadership and Innovation, Gloria Martinez, Steve Ewing, Larissa Liner, Jill Stoker, and Ryan Steele. Each of these district leaders joins me in expressing their appreciation to all honorees and your many contributions. It is time to start meeting tonight's honorees. They will be announced this evening by some very special guests. With us tonight are the past Teachers of the Year and for those of you who may not be aware, Plano ISD Teachers of the Year are not only, not only represent the district in the Regional Teacher of the Year program during their reign, they become community representatives for Plano ISD by speaking at community and business events, spearheading educational foundation initiatives, and advocating for our district and the teaching profession as a whole. We are proud that these teachers are part of our Plano ISD family. Thank you for your continued service to our district. I would also like to mention that the Plano Retired Teachers Association is joining us this evening as a resource for our most recent retirees that will be honored this evening. PRTA is dedicated to supporting education and enriching the retirement years of its members. This organization's mission supports that of the Texas Retired Teachers Association, which is to promote professional, economic, intellectual, social, and physical welfare of its members. Encourage volunteer opportunities in the community and they provide advocacy for improved retirement benefits for all public schools and higher education retirees. Last year, PRTA gave more than 10,000 books to local school children. 
awarded college scholarships to high school students and gave 29,600 hours of volunteer service to their community. Wow. Thank you again to both our Teachers of the Year and P PTRA for working so hard to support our schools and our students. Thank you guys so much for being here. Tonight's first presenter is the 2022 Plano ISD Elementary Teacher of the Year, Courtney Walker. She will share a few important housekeeping guidelines with us and introduce her fellow presenters. However, before Courtney takes the stage, we want to express our heartfelt gratitude and appreciation through a video presentation honoring service pen recipients for their excellence you provide daily. We salute you. The McKinney Vento Group, our department, it's a challenge that we completely love and enjoy. We, uh, we use the term wraparound services, but we completely take advantage of that wraparound services where it's not just getting to, to work with the family, we actually get to know an opportunity to know those families and find out their specified needs. And we reach out, we've been blessed to have a community that loves helping. So we reach out to the various resources for clothing, for food, for, for any type of scenario that those families need. Now we here at, at the Caring Place and at Welcome Enrollment Center, we have our own little kind of haven for food and clothing ourselves. Uh, full time, 45 years. So I started in 1978 and I was working over at the Cox building during that time. And that was our warehouse, the old gymnasium. And the old uh, cafeteria was our food warehouse. So yeah, it's been a, it's a whole lot different now. As you can see the background behind me, you know, we don't have food anymore, but we got a lot of books. Anybody that comes into Plano ISD, you know, we got to remember here for one thing, the education of the children. So it doesn't matter what you do in Plano ISD, you're all part of it and you will be part of it. And it helps, whatever it is, helps those students get the education we want them to have. Thank you for the books. In my 35 years, I have had the opportunity to do a lot of different things, but I would not have been able to do these things had I not had the training and the upbringing that I had as a Plano-ite. Just attending the schools and the education that I received from Plano ISD has just been huge, and it has catapulted me to heights higher than I would have expected. I'm just excited about 35 years, guys. I never would have thought that I would still be at Plano ISD 35 years later. So I'm excited about today. Thank you for driving us. I've been a cafeteria manager for 10 years. I operate the kitchen. I love working with the students and the staff. My favorite part of my job is providing excellent nutrition meals for the student and excellent customer service. Good evening, I am Courtney Walker, and it is my pleasure to be a part of tonight's Salute to Service event honoring Plano ISD's dedicated and remarkable employees. To all of our honorees who are present this evening, I have some very important instructions for you, so please make sure you pay close attention. At check-in this evening, each honoree was given a white card that was attached to your name tag. Please take that card with you when your group is called to the lineup area. The announcers will use those cards for the recognition, so the cards are very important. Throughout the evening, honorees will be invited to move to the lineup area, which is located behind the double doors. You will see a sign that says, honorees exit here. Once the honorees go through those doors, our event team will help you get organized for your recognitions. Now, one more special request of honorees. When your group is called to the lineup area, please go directly there. 
I know you may be tempted to stop and visit with friends, but we do not want any of our honorees to miss their opportunity to be recognized. So without further ado, let's do this. I now invite the 15 year service pin recipients to go through those double doors to my right, your left, to the lineup area. If you are a 15 year service pin recipient tonight, please go now. The communications team is waiting for you. While the honorees are preparing for their recognitions, I'll tell you more about tonight's program. I am pleased to be here tonight as a guest presenter with my fellow Plano ISD Teachers of the Year. Our Teachers of the Year presenting tonight are Octav Octavio Oropesa, 2022 Secondary Teacher of the Year, Colsum MK, 2019 Elementary Teacher of the Year, Jonathan Gao, 2020 Secondary Teacher of the Year, had unexpected schedule changes and they wish they could be with us. And Jacqueline Rosenquist, the 2020 Elementary Teacher of the Year. And Cody McGregor, the 2017 Elementary Teacher of the Year. Please join me in applauding these hosts and outstanding educators for their participation. Some of you may be wondering how this event comes together year after year. Well, it's the work of the communications department along with the human resources team. These two groups are joined tonight by members of the Plano ISD Council of PTAs. We also have students from Plano West Senior High and Plano East Senior High helping with tonight's audiovisual. I would like to also thank Plano West Senior High School's floral design students instructed by Carol Gowen and Shelby Wheeler for the beautiful floral arrangements that you see on each table. As you can see, teamwork really does make the dream work. I now invite Superintendent, uh, I think the change, or, yeah, Superintendent Williams to return to the stage. And I would also like to invite board member, Dr. Lauren Tyra to join Superintendent Williams to greet our honorees at the awards table. Before we begin recognizing our 15 year pen recipients, I'd like to invite the 20 year service pen recipients to now head through the double doors to prepare for your recognitions. So 20 year service pen recipients, it's your turn to head to the door, please. Tonight, we are recognizing these staff members for 15 years of service.
Are you ready? Good to go? Okay, we have our 15 year um, service award recipients. Norma Alvarez from Memorial Elementary. Okay. Renee Balustreri, Stinson Elementary. Katie Bars, Skaggs Elementary. Samantha Bay, Centennial Elementary. Sean Brantley, Williams High. Rocio Del Toro, Student and Family Services. Louise Duarte, Facility Services. Humam Elmorabiti, sorry, Renner Middle. Hattie Fowler, Dooley Elementary. Courtney Gover, Student and Family Support Service. Tanya Grant, Foreman Elementary. Mary Lee Grounds, Wyatt Elementary. Leanne Halliburton, Barron Elementary. Patricia Hempstead, Gulledge Elementary. Jacqueline Henderson, Student and Family Services. Michelle Hernandez, Student and Family Services. Karen Hosine, Robinson Middle. Sahar Koshkar, Frankfurt Middle. Camden Kniesel, McMillan, McMillan High. Lily Langston, Foreman Elementary. Yeah. Twee Lopez, Barksdale Elementary. Maritza Logo, I sorry, I said it wrong. Um, Lugo Barron Elementary, sorry. Katie Matthews, Hager Elementary. Hager. You know what's going to say. Alice Michael, Beverly Elementary. Wendy Miller, Matthews Elementary. Chad Moon, Clark High. Alicia, 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 Alicia Nation, uh, Financial Services. <laughs> Richa Nayuk, Razor Elementary. Candace Neal, Plano Senior High. Tiffany Newsom, Sigler Elementary. Rena Nitolo, Communications. <laughs> Jennifer Oldner, Pearson Early Childhood. Beatrice Alvarez, Foreman Elementary. Ashley Parker, Schimmelfenig Middle. Anisha Patel, Barksdale Elementary. Katie Phillips, Beverly Elementary. Mary Pigott, Shepton High. 
Charmin Price, Learning Media Services. Woohoo! Kenitra Robertson, Middle Robinson Middle. Vicky Rodriguez, Sapol, I'm sorry, Veda, Christie Elementary. I'm sorry, Vicky. Stephanie Ross, Vagas Elementary. <laughs> Leslie Roten, Beverly Elementary. Jennifer Smith, Plano West Senior High. Martha Teague, Schimmelfennig Middle. Lynn Thompson, Houston Elementary. Karina Tran, Murphy Middle. Junior Trishna, Fans, Robinson Middle. Tamika Tuggle, Huffman Elementary. Lori Vermeer, Wyatt Elementary. Karen Wackero, Armstrong Middle. Dash Rira Singer, Assessment, Research, and Program Evaluation. Diana Wozniak, um, Special Ed. Julie Yang, Wyatt Elementary. Stephanie Yeon, Transportation. Elspieta Zanjani, Fans, Aldridge Elementary. Alejandro Savala, Sigler Elementary. And last but not least, Deborah Wood, Thomas Elementary. Again, I offer congratulations to our colleagues with 15 years of service to Plano ISD. At this time, I would like to invite my fellow TODI 2022 Secondary Teacher of the Year, Octavio Oropesa, to the podium and board member Angela Powell to join Superintendent Williams at the awards table to recognize our 20 year service pen recipients. Thank you, Dr. Tyra. Good evening. I'm so excited to be a part of this wonderful celebration tonight. Before I introduce our 20 year pen recipients, I would like to invite the 25 year service pen honorees to move to the organizational stage uh, through those double doors to my right uh, to prepare for your recognition. As you can see on stage, we have several district staff members who are assisting with the program. Overseeing the awards table are Barbara Monroe and Gloriana Fernandez from the Communications Department. <laughs> also assisting behind stage from the Communications Department are Lane Hardy, Mitch, uh, Mitchell Jackson, and Sovi Hassanali. We appreciate your support of this event and the district. Later in the program, we'll have the honor of meeting this year's Superintendent Service Award nominees. This award is very special to our district as it recognizes our outstanding support team. The judges are always so impressed with the nominees. Their stories and accomplishments emphasize what a phenomenal team we have in Plano ISD. I want to thank our judges, 
Stephanie Ramos, Director of Auxiliary and PASAR, Chris Lilly, Director of Elementary Staffing, and Tuan King, Director of Secondary Staffing. We appreciate you giving your time in this meaningful award. The service and commitment to Plano ISD by all our honorees has contributed to this district's, this district's reputation as one of the best public systems in the country. As a fellow PISD staff member, I am proud to honor our largest group of employees this evening for their 20 years of dedicated service. Help me to salute the 20 year honorees, uh, uh, helping me to uh, um, support our 20 year honorees is my Teacher of the Year Partner in Crime, the 2022 Elementary Teacher of the Year, Courtney Walker. Our first honoree is Huda Abdin Gandhi, uh, Robinson Middle. Lulu Aguilar, Williams High. Lisa Ackerley, Pearson Early Childhood. Terry Anderson, Distribution Center. Christy Blaylock, Plano West Senior High. Lessie Brown, Fans Shepton High. <laughs> Teresa Brown, Jasper High. Dora Canales, Sockwalt Center. <laughs> Daisy Clare, Weatherford Elementary. Tammy Clayton, Isaac Early Childhood. Clarice Cross, Schimmelfinnick Middle. Karen Daniels, Shell Elementary. Sarah Davidson, McMillan High. Christy Ann Davis, Sigler Elementary. Katie Giordano, Bogus Elementary. Terry Hamilton, Hendricks Middle. Kevin Holland, Wyatt Elementary. Elizabeth Hunter Dowd, Matthews Elementary. Evelyn Jones, Carpenter Middle. Lisa Canso, Centennial Elementary. Bernadette Catani, Weatherford Elementary. Leslie Lamatus, Shepton High. Christy Lefwich, Thomas Elementary. Melanie Lynn, Shepton High.
Jill McCollin, Bogus Elementary. Noel McBee, Comps, Amp, and Records. <laughs> Melissa McCray, Racer Elementary. <laughs> Linda McGill, Bethany Elementary. Carla McGee, McMillan High. Juan Melvin, Human Resources. Rita Modi, Centennial Elementary, fans. Angela O'Brien, Christie Elementary. Chris Ostertag, Plano West Senior High. Jessica Pagan, Thomas Elementary. Eva Peel, Christie Elementary. Colleen Referente, Beatty Early Childhood. Valerie Reidling, Plano West Senior High. Maddie Rodriguez, Christie Elementary. Michael Salsgiver, Clark High. Norma Samari, Isaac Early Childhood. Barbara Sequenzia, Hedgecoke's Elementary. Rita Shaw, Clark High. May Fang, Sun, Hager Elementary. Simone Taylor, Williams High. Julie Thrift, Stinson Elementary. Monica Trevino, Williams High. Linda Vasquez, Barron Elementary. Robert Watson, Plano Senior High. Katie White, Centennial Elementary. Again, I offer congratulations to our colleagues with 20 years of service to Plano ISD.
At this time, I would like to invite 2020 Elementary Teacher of the Year, Jacqueline Rosenquist, to the podium and board member Jerry Chambers to join Superintendent Williams at the awards table to help greet our honorees with 25 to 45 years of service. Thank you, Trustee Powell. Hello, service pin recipients, retirees, and Superintendent Service Award nominees. I am honored to be a part of your very special recognition this evening. Before I begin recognizing the 25-year service pin recipients, I would like to invite the remaining service pin honorees, those with 30, 35, 40, and yes, even 45 years of service, to please head back to the organizational area to prepare for your recognitions. Tonight, we have a number of outstanding employees who are being recognized for 25 years of service to this district. They are part of the Plano ISD history, and we are pleased to salute their service. The first 25-year service pin honoree is Maria Angeles Fans Hickey Elementary. Eric Barr Robinson Middle. Joan Boswell Murphy Middle. Lori Brooks, Student and Family Services. Paul Campbell, Brinker Elementary. Shonda Cho, Itinerant Special Ed. Veronica Cousins, Purchasing Department. <laughs> Susanna Crumley, Plano West Senior High. Sonia Day, Weatherford Elementary. Keith Evitz, Wilson Middle. Maria Golastagi, Foreman Elementary. Robin Gott, Jasper High. Brenda Jordan, Jasper High. Susan Knighton, Dooley Elementary. Shauna Caney, Communications. Brenda Loggerleaf, Financial Services. Kimberly Lewis, Christie Elementary. Stacy Martin, Bogus Elementary. Teresa Martinez, Fans, Jackson Elementary. Linda Matthews, Pearson Early Childhood. Berlin Mishnered, Mishnered, Fine Arts and Special Programs. Brenda Myers, Meadows Elementary. Brandon Hidalgo, Plano East Senior High. Okay. Diane Porter, Plano East. Sherry Schaefer, Shepherd Elementary. Lisa Tillery Hunt Elementary. Sarah Wales, 
Skaggs Elementary. And Martine Witten Robinson Middle. Congratulations to our 25 year honorees. It is now time to present our 30, 35, 40, and 45 year service pin recipients. Before we continue honoring our service pin recipients, I would like to invite all of our retirees to please head through the double doors to prepare for your recognition. All retirees, please. Let's meet our employees with 30 years of service. Please help me congratulate Bruce Arnold, Facility Services. Laura Blankenship, E-School. Denise Bledgy, Gulledge Elementary. Bill Cousins, Facility Services. Lisa Garner, Hunt Elementary. Cynthia Hetchens, Wyatt Elementary. Barbara Kuwitsky, Jackson Elementary. <laughs> Stephanie Mater, Dooley Elementary. <laughs> Penny Maisie, Hickey Elementary. <laughs> Craig McKenney, Professional Learning. Deborah Newsom, Plano East Senior High. Paige O'Kelly, Beverly Elementary. Joan Patrick, Harrington Elementary. Mary Swinton, Elementary Curriculum and Instruction. And Aaron Villarreal, Wilson Middle. Our next service pin honorees have served this district for 35 years. This, yes, <laughs> this is a tremendous accomplishment and we are so excited to celebrate their legacy. Our first honoree with 35 years of service, Charlene Broaden, <laughs> Williams High. Karen Holloway, Plano East Senior High. Amy Rhodes, Carpenter Middle. Beverly Shannon, 
transportation. Amy Taylor Wyatt Elementary. <laughs> Sally Villani Hendrick Middle. And Cindy Williams, Regional Day School for the Deaf. Congratulations to our 35-year honorees. Before we recognize our 40 and 45-year honorees, I'm going to ask Katie Britton, Susan Haynes, and Dr. Courtney Gober to the stage, please, and stand with Superintendent Williams and Secretary, Secretary Chambers as we honor our final service pins of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, to work 40 years or more for one employee, employer is extraordinary. Tonight, we celebrate three individuals who have served Plano ISD for four decades. A wise person once said, you can't do a good job if your job is all you do. And I believe these next honorees embody that sentiment. Our 40-year honoree, is Amy Dudley Frankford Middle. <laughs> this year, we have two 45 year service pin honorees in our midst. Ladies and gentlemen, let's celebrate David Shelton distribution services. and James Thomas, Student and Family Services. Please give one final round of applause to all of our service pin honorees this evening. I now invite my fellow Toady, Cody McGregor, to the podium and re-invite Vice President Humphrey to join Superintendent Williams at the awards table. Thank you, Trustee Chambers. Good evening. I am thrilled to have been asked to be here this evening to help honor this year's group of retirees. Thank you again to the Plano Retired Teachers Association for being a part of tonight's event. Representing them in the audience tonight is President Kay Anderson and PRTA members Jenny Bridwell. Ladies, please stand so we can recognize you.
You may have met Kay and Jenny when you arrived this evening, but if you miss them, we invite all retirees to stop by the PRTA table after the program and sign up for their drawing. They are giving away a free membership this evening to one lucky winner. Plano ISD is honored to salute this year's retirees. Tonight, we celebrate their distinguished careers by honoring their total number of years of service in public education. While this group is getting ready, let's turn our attention to the video screen for a special salute to the outstanding service and dedication for some of tonight's honorees. We sincerely thank all of our honorees this evening for touching the lives of Plano ISD students, staff, families, and community members. Thank you for being great colleagues and for creating many lasting memories. Your time, whether behind the scenes or with the students, has made an impact. To the retirees, we wish you the very best as you pursue new endeavors and know that you will be greatly missed. Before we begin recognizing retirees, I would like to invite our superintendent's service award nominees to head to the organizational area and prepare for your recognition. Superintendent's service award nominees.
All right, let's do this. Our first retiree this evening, Sylvia Garcia, Meadows Elementary, retiring with 15 years public education. Joyce Spizak, Sigler Elementary, retiring with 17 years in public education. Martha De La Paz, Fans Davis Elementary, retiring with 18 years in public education. Martha? Deborah Lewis, Fans Centennial Elementary, retiring with 18 years in public education. Pamela Redman, Gwynn Special Programs, retiring with 20 years in public education. Alfreda Vickers, De Davis Elementary, retiring with 20 years in public education. Diane Barnett, Beverly Elementary, retiring with 23 years in public education. Sally R. Diamond, Special Ed Brinker Elementary, retiring with 23 years in public education. Donna Donahue, Gulledge Elementary, retiring with 23 years in public education. Debbie Sewell, Plano West Senior High, retiring with 23 years in public education. Nancy Smith, Multilingual Academic Services, retiring with 23 years in public education. Barbara Boyd Reed, fans, retiring with 24 years in public education. Nancy Bassett, Houston Elementary, retiring with 25 years in public education. Jacqueline Sellens, Shell Elementary Library, retiring with 25 years in public education. Deborah Kaufman, Isaacs Early Childhood, retiring with 26 years in public education. Jennifer Mathis, Special Ed, retiring with 27 years in public education. Melody McKee, Bethany Elementary, retiring with 27 years in public education. Catherine Heydrich, Special Ed, retiring with 28 years in public education. Bridget Poldridge, Gulledge Elementary, fifth grade, retiring with 28 years in public education. Mary Beth Motney, Human Resources, retiring with 28 years in public education. Sylvia Ibera, Hickey Elementary, retiring with 26 years in public education. Barbara Kuwitsky, Jackson Elementary, retiring with 30 years in public education. Alyssa Melly, Shell Elementary, retiring with 30 years in public education. <laughs> Teresa Williams, Vines High, retiring with 30 years in public education. <laughs> Colleen File, Murphy Middle, CTE, retiring with 31 years in public education. Leslie L. Lamatis, Shepton High, retiring with 32 years in public education. Eddie DeWoody, Bogus Elementary, retiring with 33 years in public education. Jill Stoker, School Leadership and Innovation, retiring with 33 years 
in public education. Lori King, fans, retiring with 34 years in public education. Leanne Begis, Plano West Senior High, retiring with 35 years in public education. Sharonda Holden, retiring with 36 years in public education. Glenda Smith, Special Ed Hickey Elementary, retiring with 36 years in public education. This is Glenda. Glenda Smith. Oh, it's okay. One more time. Glenda Smith at Hickey for 36 years. James McCurry, Plano Senior High, retiring with 38 years in public education. Tracy Langford, retiring with 39 years in public education. She does. Shonda Chow, Special Ed, retiring with 40 years in public education. Amy Dudley, Frankfurt Middle, retiring with 40 years in public education. The King, George King, Plano East Senior High, retiring with 40 years in public education. He's the best. Debbie Martin, RDSPD, retiring with 43 years in public education. And finally, Pauline Cinnamon, Plano East Senior High, retiring with 44 years in public education. Four years. On behalf of the district, I extend our congratulations and best wishes to all of our retirees. We wish you well as you embark on this new phase in your lives. For our final recognition of the evening, I now invite Johnny Hill, Deputy Superintendent for Business and Employee Services, to the podium. Thank you, Cody. We will continue with our salute to service by recognizing support staff members who are nominees for the Superintendent's Service Award. What a pleasure it is to recognize these outstanding employees who were nominated by their colleagues for this award. I am truly honored to introduce these dedicated staff members to you tonight. Now for the nominees for the 2023 Superintendent's Service Awards, they are Laura Jacobs. <laughs> Elizabeth Osivas. Lola Alvarez. Rupa Ambercar.
Merla Asoria and Hell, Barron Elementary. <laughs> Nellie Arochi, McMillan High. Angelica Maria Arroas, Facility Services. Tracy Lee Baker, Aldridge Elementary. Mara Baladeras, Sigler Elementary. Jorge Bacarandu, Dooley Elementary. Janice Calvert, Beatty Early Childhood. Martha Delapaz, Davis Elementary. Rocchio Del Toro, Student, Family, and Community Services. Maria Diaz, Plano Senior High. Diane Faulkner, Carlisle Elementary. <laughs> Kathleen Michelle Gensel, Isaac Early Childhood. Delia Gonzalez, Fans. Maria Gurney, Pearson Early Childhood. Flora Hamilton, Plano East Senior High. Pamela Hearn, Williams High School. Debbie Andrews, Transportation. <laughs> Edith Hernandez, Sagling Elementary. Brenda Ingram, Jackson Elementary. Brenda Jordan, Jasper High. Doreen Juniman, Bowman Middle School. Yarnby Lee, Hager Elementary. Jenna Lovell, Bogus Elementary. Tonka Mayanzink, Transportation Department. Jennifer Martinez, Brinker Elementary. Melissa McCaslin, Transportation. <laughs> Linda McGill, Bethany Elementary. <laughs> Yasmin Megani, Matthews Elementary. <laughs> Diana Mahina. Student Administrative Services. <laughs> Daniel Mayshock, Barksdale Elementary. <laughs> Amy Nelson, Gulledge Elementary. <laughs> Mar 
Maria Nickel, Head Start. Ophelia Ramirez, Memorial Elementary. Lavelle Ramsey, Distribution Services. Anam Shika Wilson Middle. Glenda Smith, Hickey Elementary. And finally, Meredith Wollard, Charmaine Solomon Adult Transition Center. Congratulations to all of the nominees. And now, to announce tonight's winners of the 2023 Superintendent Service Awards, please welcome back Dr. Freeman on behalf of Dr. Williams. You know, I know Teresa lost her voice, but this is the part that's really exciting. So thank you for letting me do this tonight. It is now my honor to congratulate the four winners of the 2023 Superintendent Service Award. As your name is called, please come forward and remain on stage throughout the presentation. This employee has risen to many on-the-job challenges by having a can-do attitude. Additionally, she meets every project with enthusiasm and determination and goes above and beyond the call of duty no matter what is on her plate, always making room for just a little bit more. When asked to describe her proudest accomplishment, she stated, I was able to improve our department processes, increase the usability of our work order system, and strengthen our relationships with community groups. Serving in her current role sparked her interest to go back to college and pursue her degree. Congratulations to Angelica Maria Arroyos, Energy Assistant, Facility Services, and one of the 2023 Superintendent Service Award winners. Kind, pleasant, loyal team member, mentor are just a few words that characterize our next nominee. He is described as a dedicated Plano ISD employee who goes above and beyond his job description daily. He comes to work early, helps before asked, and has a good rapport with students across the campus. He has relationships, good relationships with students, and they are willing to listen to him and accept his direction. This is a skill that cannot be taught. His patience and connection with some of our most challenging students is to be admired. Finally, his willingness to be a team player is appreciated and valued. His nominator said that he shares his ideas and implements plans that make the campus load lighter for us all. It is the little things that make a difference. He teaches the students and staff the true meaning of hard work and dedication. 
Let's congratulate Tommy Briggs, Special Education Structured Assistant, Hendrick Middle School, Achieve Classroom as the 2023 Superintendent Service Award winner. Here comes Lisa. She'll accept the award. The first thing that you will notice about this nominee are a huge smile, a sweet laugh, and a contagious, joyful spirit. In addition to making everyone she comes into contact feel welcome, she is an excellent communicator and has a strong work ethic. She makes certain that all technical issues are solved so teachers can focus on instruction. She also keeps parents informed through the school website and the campus newsletter by organizing the information in a very clear and presentable way. This nominee says her proudest accomplishments all involve supporting our staff, students, and families during our technology evolution over the years. Stating, fortunately, I did not have to do any of this work alone thanks to the support that I received from the help desk, instructional technology, assessments, and others. I believe that I am able to be a problem solver. My principal and assistant principal continually ensure that I have the resources I need to support our students and staff. Congratulations to the 2023 Superintendent Service Award winner, Brenda Ingram, CTA Jackson Elementary. There you go. Known for going the extra mile, our fourth and final winner is best described as essential, knowledgeable, conscientious, and an integral part of the department and an excellent proofreader and editor. We all need those. Her nominator writes, her technical knowledge and expertise in a variety of areas is a critical component of every project that our department manages. Our department runs many projects. Each of these projects has its own technology considerations, specs, and logistics. She is passionate about making the process as teacher-friendly as possible. The nominee's calm demeanor, patience, patient reassurance, excellent customer service, and effective solutions have her earned her the nickname Assessment Technical Therapist among her coworkers and the campus staff. 
Her nominator said, when it comes to technology, teachers do get frustrated at times. When it comes to the intersection of technology and assessment, the stakes are even higher. This means that even minor difficulties feel magnified by the teachers. She handles support phone calls with the skill of a therapist. She will listen respectfully, clarify with compassion, and hold your hand as she walks you through the solution. Just as a therapist may leave you feeling better, she leaves teachers feeling that they have been heard and that there is nothing that she can't help them overcome. Join me in congratulating Karen Simons, Assessment Technical Specialist, Assessment Research and Program Evaluation as the 2023 Superintendent Service Award winner. Dash, you look just like her. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Congratulations again to the 2023 Superintendent Service Award winners. And on behalf of the entire district, I want to thank you for your leadership and your service. We admire you and your skills and your remarkable dedication to the students, family, staff, and community. You make us all Plano ISD proud. Yay. <laughs> On behalf of our Board of Trustees and our Superintendent, Dr. Teresa Williams, Thank you so much for attending our 58th annual service awards and retirement celebration and coming to support all of our honorees, nominees, and winners. Good night and drive safely.